Hello everyone. In today's lecture, we are going to see the design of sludge digestion tank. So, in previous module or in previous lecture, we have seen the theoretical part of sludge digestion. That is the treatment methods of sludge digestion, the characteristics of sludge digestion, and application applications of digested sludge in form of fertilizer and composting. So, in this lecture, we are see the problems on sludge digestion tank design of sludge digestion tank. So, this is a typical diagram of sludge digestion tank. So let's we see the design parameter first. So before going to start this design, we know some design parameters or meaning of design criteria. So the digestion tank is cylindrical in shape and circular in plan of approximate diameter of 3 to 12 meter. Slope of bottom hopper floor is 1 as to 1 to 1 as to 3. Depth of digestion tank is 6 meter. Except in large plant, not more than 2 units are provided. And the capacity of provided ranges from 21 to 61 liter per capita per day. If the progress of sludge digestion is assumed to be linear, then capacity of digester is in meter cube, where V1 is the raw sludge added per day, that is meter cube per day, and V2 is equivalent digested sludge produced per day on completion of digestion V2, that is V1 divided by 3. T is the digestion period in days. When the daily digested sludge could not be removed, even though digestion gets completed, then consider separately capacity. So, in that case, we are calculating the value of total capacity by using this formula V equal to V1 plus V2 by 2 into T plus V2 into capital T. Design a digestion tank. So let's we see the design problem. So just I read the design problem statement. Design a digestion tank for a primary sludge with the help of following data. First, the average flow is 20 million liter per day. Total suspended solids in the raw sewage is 300 milligram per liter. The moisture content of digested sludge is 85% and assume any suitable data. So before going to start the actual design, first we assume some assumptions or data. The assumptions made are percentage of solid removed in primary settling tank that we can assume as 65%. The moisture content of fresh sludge is 95%. Specific gravity of wet sludge is 1.02. Digestion period is 30 days. Depth of digester is 6 meter. So, these are some assumptions that we have made while designing the digestion tank. So, let's we start the problem solving step by step. So, first the average flow given is 20 million liter per day. So, we have to convert this flow into liter per day. So, 20 into 10 raised to 6 liter per day. The total suspended solid in raw sewage that are given in problem statement that is 300 mg per liter which is equal to 300 into 10 raised to minus 6 kg per liter. So we have to convert this raw sewage, total suspended solids in raw sewage in terms of kilogram. So thereby mass of total suspended solids in 20 million liter of sewage per day which is equal to multiplying the average flow of sewage into the total suspended solid quantity that is 20 into 10 raised to 6 liter per day into 300 into 10 raised to minus 6 kg per liter. So that quantity of mass of total suspended solids is equal to 6000 kilogram per day. 
सो मास ऑफ सॉलिड रिमूव इन प्राइमरी सेटलिंग टैंक इज इक्वल टू मास ऑफ सॉलिड फॉर्मिंग द रॉ सीवेज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी फाइव परसेंट इंटू सिक्स थाउजेंड इक्वल टू थ्री नाइन जीरो जीरो के जी पर लीटर बिकॉज इन प्राइमरी सेडिमेंटेशन वी आर रिमूविंग द सिक्सटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ मास सॉलिड दैट्स वाई वी आर मल्टीप्लाइंग दिस सिक्सटी फाइव परसेंट दैट इज सिक्सटी फाइव डिवाइडेड बाय हंड्रेड इंटू सिक्स थाउजेंड सो वी विल गेट द थ्री नाइन जीरो जीरो के जी पर लीटर दैट इज मास ऑफ सॉलिड रिमूव इन प्राइमरी सेटलिंग टाइम मॉइस्चर कंटेंट ऑफ फ्रेश लर्च वी आर एज्यूम दिस वैल्यू एज नाइंटी फाइव परसेंट सो द मास ऑफ वेट स्लर्च मेड बाय थ्री नाइन जीरो जीरो के जी पर लीटर ऑफ ड्राई सॉलिड इक्वल टू हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड बाय फाइव दैट इज द मॉइस्चर कंटेंट ऑफ फ्रेश लर्च इज नाइंटी फाइव परसेंट सो रिमेनिंग इज फाइव परसेंट सो दैट फाइव परसेंट मल्टीप्लाई बाय दिस द टोटल क्वांटिटी ऑफ टोटल सस्पेंडेड सॉलिड्स विच विल गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ मास ऑफ वेट स्लर्ज इक्वल टू सेवेंटी एट थाउजेंड के जी सो वी आर कैलक्युलेटेड द मास ऑफ वेट स्लर्ज वॉल्यूम देन नेक्स्ट इज वी आर कैलक्युलेटिंग डेंसिटी ऑफ वेट स्लर्ज द फॉर्मूला ऑफ कैलक्युलेटिंग डेंसिटी इज इक्वल टू स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी ऑफ वेट स्लर्ज इन टू डेंसिटी ऑफ वॉटर सो स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी ऑफ स्लर्ज इज वन पॉइंट जीरो टू इन टू द डेंसिटी ऑफ वॉटर इज थाउजेंड के जी पर मीटर क्यूब सो द टोटल डेंसिटी ऑफ वेट स्लर्ज इज इक्वल टू वन जीरो टू जीरो के जी पर मीटर क्यूब नेक्स्ट इज द वॉल्यूम ऑफ रॉ स्लर्ज वी वन इक्वल टू मास इन टू डेंसिटी सो मास ऑफ वेट स्लर्ज इज सेवेंटी एट थाउजेंड डिवाइडेड बाई डेंसिटी इज वन जीरो टू जीरो सो द वॉल्यूम ऑफ रॉ स्लर्ज इज सेवेंटी सिक्स पॉइंट फोर्टी सेवन मीटर क्यूब पर डे सो वंस वी आर कैलक्युलेटिंग द वॉल्यूम ऑफ रॉ स्लर्ज then we are calculating the volume of digested sludge so volume of digested sludge is calculating by using this formula v1 into 100 by rho1 divided by 100 by rho2 the rho1 and rho2 are the moisture content of fresh sewage and moisture content of raw sewage so putting all the values in this formula we are getting the volume of digested sludge which is equal to 25.49 meter cube per day so the v1 is the volume of raw sludge and v2 is the volume of digested sludge so the capacity of digester is calculating and which is equal to 1274.5 meter cube or equal to 1275 meter cube that is the volume of digester which is calculated by using this formula as we show in previous slide slide the v1 is the volume of raw sewage and v2 is the raw sludge and v2 is the volume of digested sludge so putting all the values in this formula we will get the total capacity of digester which is equal to 1 to 75 meter cube so we are assuming the depth of tank is 6 meter and so that the cross sectional area is equal to the total volume divided by depth which will equal to 212.5 meter square so from that we are calculating the diameter of tank so diameter of tank should be 16.5 meter so we will provide a cylindrical digestion tank of 6 meter depth and 16.5 meter diameter with an additional hopper bottom of 1 as to 1 slope for collection of digested sludge so similarly by using these steps you are calculating the similar type of problem so in that you are assuming assuming first all required data and then you are calculating the volume that is capacity of digest digestion tank so for, for that first of all you are uh, calculating the capacity of raw sewage then you are calculating the capacity of digested sludge and then by using this both the values you are calculating the total capacity of digester tank and from that you are assuming the depth of tank and you will get the area so from that you will get the dimensions of digested tank so all the best for further solving examples thank you